Hi guys, Crafting Redstone here, and today we're going to be having a look at something a little bit different. Usually when we make stuff out of redstone, we're making things like the printer there, or full ladders where I buy numbers together, or some segment displays and things like that. But we've never actually done something what can measure the strength of a, re um, of a redstone signal. Today we're going to be having a look at something, and it's going to be a Minecraft oscilloscope. And what this can do, it takes the, the s signal strength of a redstone wire, and puts it into a bit of a display and you can see the wave if you're doing a sine wave signal a signal so that it's constantly moving or you can get square waves from it if it's just going on and off and things like that so we're going to have a look at that so let's get started so to begin with there is six main components you'll need to make an os uh, a oscilloscope I'm going to speak today and these are the comparator the redstone torch the lever the repeater and redstone and bluestone with clay or whatever block you want actually so, something what is really important to begin with. Comparators are really, really important when making oscilloscope. And this is because they ret retain the signal, what goes through them, rather than boosting it back up to full. So, as you can see here, we've got a signal. Both the same signal going into the repeater and the comparator. Now, if you have a look, the repeater boosts it back up to full power. Even though this is not on full power, it puts it back up to full power. However, the comparator will keep the signal the same. And this is so important when doing it, when making this project. Another thing what the comparators do, if you click it up, oh, if you right click it, it will put on subtraction mode. This means, if this is on full power, as you can see here, whatever, um, whatever signal is coming in from the side is going to take it away from the main power here. And this means that if we have it on the signal, for example, watch the redstone, see how it rapidly decreases in signal strength. So this means we've got a lot less signal strength than if, than if this was off. So it's the main signal going through it, take this one here. And that is really important when making it, when making this oscilloscope. So let's have a look how we can build one. We want one main signal in, so this is going to be our input here. Now we want two branches of this, one to power it from this end, and one to power it the resident touch from this end. Now, we're going to make something what can... I'll show you actually. So if we have a signal like this, and a signal like this, then we want this one on subtraction mode, and a lever going into this. What this is going to do, when this signal is on full power, here, this signal is going to be on no power, and when this signal is on no power, this signal is going to be on full power. So it basically alternates. So I can demonstrate this by getting a bit of a redstone wire out, and making a um, tick extender, I mean strength. Yeah, tickets. I can't always go, but the thing what retains a redstone signal going into it. So as you can see, this one is on, this one is off. But now you'll see this slowly shift from one side to the other. So we can do that again. See how it's changing very slowly, and we can extend this by just adding more comparators into here, like so. Oh, not putting on subtraction mode. Don't want to do that. So you can see now it's a bit. It'll be a bit longer. So, see how, it um, see how it slowly shifts from one side to the other. Now this is really important, because basically what we want to do, we want to have a line of 15 redstone torches. So in that gap there. So we want to have a line of 15, actually 16 redstone torches will indicate how strong the signal is. So let's build out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we want to place redstone torches all along this side, like so. Right, now we're actually going to get rid of this now and build it one block higher in a minute. So this is not my design, someone else made this. I'm not too sure who made it, but it's a pretty good design, so... I think it's actually generally used to measure the signal from item frames. Now I'm using it to measure the signal from whatever signal what's going into it. So we've got this, and what we want to do, we want to place a comparator here, and a comparator here. Right, so then we put a resident block there, and we can have our input coming in from a comparator here. Now, we want to subtract it, so it's the opposite of this one. So if this one is 15, then this is 0. If that one is 10, then this is 5, um, signal-wise. So we want to place a redstone torch there. Then that will light up the repeater. And then produce an output, what is this, take away from that. So then we can 
have that come over right over here and this is going to be really quite laggy for this first version because the it is very out of sync considering we're going to have about 10 comparisons going on here what we're going to slow it down by 10 takes and it's only got one but we can improve on that later and we're going to look how we can do that so what i'm going to do and uh, decrease the red amount of comparison needed by doing comparator block redstone and then having a comparator block redstone actually to make it look neat we can get rid of those and then we can again go comparator block get rid of that one redstone and we can just repeat this down the line so we can do i know that's going to be two blocks away like that and then we can put a block there and get rid of that and then put a block there and then we, yeah we do and then get rid of that and we put redstone to redstone wire here and we can also pop it hmm, i think actually i'm gonna put a comparator there redstone here and this is not the best way of doing it it's just so it can come all the way over here now as you can see, because the power is currently off, we have this redstone torch lit up. And if we put it on full power, like this, the end one should light up, as you can see. So then, if we change the signal and have it a bit less, it should light up one somewhere further, well, nearer to the middle. So we extend this redstone wire all the way out here, and we can we can, we can just do this with a comparative grey one to two, but I'm going to do it extend it like that. You see, this one lights up, and this is indicating what strength signal is going through it, and this is really important. Now, we've got nothing, we can see it's like this, but we've got nothing to display it over a long time. So, what you do, you basically put a line of repeaters, and you want to do probably about 20 of these, and all, all face in the same direction, and that will indicate what signal it's on. So, I'm going to make a cut and meet you back when I've done that. As you can see, I've placed in all the repeaters and we've got this big display here. Now, we're not using redstone lamps, but you can do. And we've done this simply because it's easy enough to see with the redstone repeaters. Now, if you want to, um, at the moment it's going to be a one tick graph, so it shows you how it's moving in one, in one tick. But if you want to increase this, so it's two tick graph, you can just increase all the repeaters by the right amount of ticks. So, as you can see, I just used a command, something a bit like that my um, repeater array, I guess probably call it, and that's just extending it by 15 blocks and then 50 over here and then making them all face the right direction and then you get that massive amount of repeaters. Now you can I extend this, I mean if I was going to go right to the end over here, extend it again, it might be a bit laggy actually, but if I simply do that, as you can see it's filled eight, 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 816 blocks are, and then we've got that amount of repeaters twice so that'll be 16 32 repeaters in this and that's just going to be our display so now i want to see what it looks like when we have a bit of a degrading signal going so we can have a redstone out like that we can have a block here a block here two redstone across there and one there a piece of redstone there and a comparator here and what that will do that will slowly degrade the signal that goes into it. You can see it jumps up to full signal strength or just about full signal strength. I don't know why it isn't why it isn't at full signal strength actually it should be. But anyway, and then it will slowly degrade the signal. So you should see it like a bit of a nice curve coming down. You can see. Yeah, so you got that big curve. Now that's got a massively thick area there, and that is because these are not these two wires are not in sync. So we need to make them in sync. So they turn on and off at exactly the same time. So we'll meet back in a minute when we're ready to do that. Basically what we're wanting is a bit of delay on this um, comparator. So it comes in sync with all these comparators here. Now comparators slow down the redstone signal by one tick. So we can count this up. So we've got one comparator, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that means we need ten different ten comparators for this to be in sync with this one. So what we can do, if this is our input here, so there, that is our input, we can extend this by 10 blocks outwards, not by doing that. So we go one, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna do six there. Then we can fill this in with five comparators, like so, one, two, three, four, five. And then we can have another block here, and then have it going this way, one, two, three, four. Now we're gonna have a bit of a problem here because we've only got how many repeaters? One, two, three, four. Well, we've got nine 
um, comparatively, and I keep calling them repeaters, but nine comparators. Now, we're going to have a bit of a problem here, because that is not going to line up properly, and also we've got this signal going into this comparator, what could interfere if this signal if this signal is greater than the one coming in. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to extend it backwards a bit, so we're going to have to get rid of this, and just extend it up one backwards, like so, and like this. I'll compare it on subtraction mode and then put the repeater there like so. Then we have another, I keep calling them repeaters, but I mean comparator going into there. And then redstone blo red block there and a redstone on top of it. And then a comparator there. And this is our input here. So then what we need to do, we need to extend it by 10 comparators. So we can get rid of all this now because that did not work. So we could only fit 9 in. So what we're going to have to do instead is going to. I guess we'll probably do something similar, so we can have it extend out, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we can just have it extend by 5, like so, and then we can probably have 4, so I guess actually, yeah, 4 going back this way, actually we're going to, hmm, so we're going to have it out 1 so it doesn't interfere, that's the issue we're having last time, so we've got this now, so we've got 4 on the side, as you can see, no, we've got five on the side. Six. That was a repeater. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then we've got this tenth one here, and then eleven. But we've got eleven now, so that might be an issue. Because then this side's got ten. To fix that issue, very simple. Might make it a little bit slower, but we just put an extra comparator in there. Then they match up. It's got eleven comparators on this side and eleven comparators on this side. This means it'll practically be instant and not have a big. Well, I did there actually, but I'm not sure to. Oh, because it went on and off. You should see it transfers instantly without a big uh, red, um, a big block of redstone repeaters on. It'll just do it instantly. So basically, what we've made here with the lever is a square wave. This can either be zero off or one on, and this will transfer instantly. In real life, you do get a line between them. And that is because there is, although very, very short, there is a big voltage, well, voltage drop very, very quickly, or voltage increase. And that's why you get a line. But in Minecraft, it's not like real life, obviously. So it just does it instantly. So we can keep changing the lever like that. And you'll see we get these lines. Actually, we have got these lines going across. That is a bit unusual. I don't know why it's doing that. But you can see it moves along like that. And we can see the square wave. Now, I'm a bit puzzled why we have got those lines coming across. I'm going to add an extra repeater into that because it seems to be on the rising edge. And what I mean by rising edge, it, it, we only get those lines when it's going up to 1 rather than down to 0. So let's have a look how we can make a different type of wave. Now if you have a look at this wave, we're getting a completely different sort of wave. And I think this is called a sine wave. And this means it's constantly changing, going up and down. It's not a square wave where it kind of makes squares in it because it's either on or off. This has variable signal strength, so it produces this different wave. And this just goes up and down and up and down. And these are very useful. Uh, and I'll probably show you in a video later why they are quite useful. But for now, we're going to have a look how you make one. And this is by, I think, Cube Hamster. Is that right? It might be. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this is a AC generator, uh, AC signal generator, and this means that it's constantly changing the signal. So you see how this is now off and then goes back on to on. And you just make it like this. So if you want to see how to make it, just pause the video here, and that is how you make it, just like that. Now, it generates a signal because it's constantly changing, and it constantly just moves up and down the torches. And this creates this signal here. I mean, you can see on the far left, we're getting a bit of lag, and that is why these bits haven't quite changed. So you can see there is a bit of an error down there, but that's because we've got so many repeaters going that it doesn't want to change. But as you can see, we get this sort of how you'd expect a wave to look like, and that's how you make them. So with an oscilloscope, what is this here? This is how you can see how waves look like in Minecraft. So you can attach this to your like RAM or whatever in Minecraft, what you've made, seven segments by your what, and you can see exactly how, how it's working, what signals coming through it. And each repeater indicates one tick, so you can see these signals are generally lasting for about two ticks, except from on the bottom and top where they're lasting for about five ticks. So you just count up the amount of repeaters they activate, 
and that is how many how much time it takes. So each of these is one tick, and obviously this is zip, um, signal strength zero, and then it goes all the way up to fifteen here, and that is every number in between. So that is how that works, and this is just a bit, quite a short video on how oscilloscopes work. I thought it was quite cool. Now I'll probably make a more advanced one later on in this series of looking at Minecraft redstone projects. So I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope I've explained it really well so you can understand how to build it. And if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like. And if you really enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. And so here's your oscilloscope. Thank, thanks for watching from Crafting Redstone.